In this video, I will talk about how to do limited dependent variable models in R. Before you watch it, please make sure that you have watched my other two videos on limited dependent variable models and limited dependent variable models example. And I will talk here about how to do the Tobit model and the truncated regression model. I have opened up my R program and the data, which you can download from my website and follow along. And I have loaded the necessary packages, which you also need to do. So the first thing to do is look at the data and that we're going to use. And for that, we would be using data on uh, ambulatory expenditures. And this, is be, this would be the CSV uh, data file and we would define the dependent variable using C bind of ambulatory expenditures and the independent variables would be age, female and total number of chronic conditions. So this dependent variable here is the one that is censored because it has zeros in the, the data and that's why we will be using these kinds of models. So I have opened up the data here and let's take a look at it. Age would be one of our independent variables. Female would be another one. Then we have the total number of chronic conditions here. And if I scroll down a little bit, ambulatory expenditures, that would be our dependent variable of interest. And look at how it has a lot of zeros in there. So this is how um, the sensor data set looks like. So going back to the program, here are some descriptive statistics uh, using summary y and summary x that we can we can calculate. And we have for descriptive statistics that ambulatory expenditures, we have the mean expenditures of $1,386, and here's for all our x variables. So we can do a Tobit model using two different packages actually one of them using the Tobit command and one of them the censored regress, uh, regression. And using the Tobit, you need to specify the Y variable, then the X independent variables, left censoring. In this case, we have zeros because we have zeros in the data. And the data is not censored from above. That's why for right, we're going to put infinity. But you may have different values here. so make sure that you have put here the appropriate value or minus infinity if it's not um, censored from the left and you put an upper value here if it's censored from the right and then you read in the data and you summarize it and here is the Tobit model results that we have here okay and the way to interpret these results is that uh, for example here we would say that each additional year of age brings about 333 more dollars in the latent ambulatory expenditure variable in there. And also notice that we also have this uh, scale, log of scale parameter, and this is very typical for the Tobit model. So you can also see that this uh, same Tobit model is estimated using a different censored regressor, regression and we have the same uh, the same results here. Another thing to note is these are the total number of observations and the programs have seen that truncation from the left was 526 and these were the uncensored and we have no trans, uh, censoring from the right. Okay, so this was how to do the Tobit model, two different ways, same results. Next thing to do is you can calculate the marginal uh, effects. And that is simply done by doing the marginal effects command. And you put here the Tobit 2, um, the estimates coming from the censored regressor, regression. And these are the summaries here that we have for the marginal effects. So you can go ahead and interpret those results 
that uh, each additional year uh, that you get older, you would have an additional two, $220 in actual ambulatory expenditures. That's how you interpret this result and you see that it's uh, significant. Now, instead of doing the Tobit one-step model where you have the 0-1 decision put together and the positive decision, you can do that in two separate models. One with a profit model uh, for the zero or positive decision, and then you can estimate a truncated regression model just for the positive observations. So here's the profit model. We will do this with G GLM. And the dependent variable here would be i, an index variable, for y being positive. So that would make our original variable y, which is zero positive, into a zero one variable. And this was our dependent, independent variables. You read in the data, and then you say that family binomial link equals probit here. And then you summarize the probit results. And these would be the results for the probit model. And you interpret them in exactly the same way um, as we did in the other video that I have on the profit and logic models, that each additional, if you're older, if you're female, and if you have more chronic conditions, you're actually more likely uh, to have positive ambulatory expenditures. So now for the truncated regression, we would first subset the data which is our original data, my data, and we would only keep the values that are positive, and I will call this my data dot truncated. So when we're calling this trunk reg, notice that for data I'm calling my uh, the my data truncated, not the full sample, but the truncated one that doesn't have the zeros. And we would say direction from the left and point equals zero because it's truncated at zero from the left and this is we're summarizing it and here are the results the results and we have very large numbers here on the coefficients um, for the truncated regression so i would just talk about um, that with age female and uh, having um, and with higher number of chronic conditions then you have higher num higher amount of expenditures. The final thing that we can do here is test for the Tobit model, which is a one-step model, versus the Probit and truncated regression model. And the way to do is just put the log likelihoods together for the Probit and the truncated regression together, and then subtract the li log likelihood for the Tobit model, and then look at the test at the, at the um, at the results here, and this is the test statistic, and you have to compare it to the critical value for the chi-square distribution. And here we have three independent variables plus an intercept, so four degrees of freedom. And it's actually a very small number, that, that critical value. So we would reject the hypothesis that the Tobit model is the appropriate model, and it's a good thing to actually estimate two different models. Uh, for the probit and the truncated regression. Now, I do not have how to do a Heckman model in R, so if you do know how to do that, please leave me a comment here and let me know how to do that. I would love to incorporate that in the, in the program. So, thanks for watching and come back again for more videos.